Hello and welcome to my F122 drive room and here today for part 31 for the Mexican Grand Prix. Once again, I'm doing live commentary for qualifying and the race, so enjoy. P2! That's a lot! Wow! Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. And Brown completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Hamilton, Daniel Ricciardo, and Norris. Stroll, Albert. Sainz and Pierre Gasly. They've taken a grid penalty. Fernando Alonso, Joe, George Russell and Sonoda. Ocon, Magnussen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Nicholas Latifi and Robert Schwartzman. Verstappen. They've taken a grid penalty. And Mick Schumacher. That's it then. It's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. So we've got a good qualifying, qualified P4. We move up to P2 because of penalties and we're going to be doing a one stop in this race. Follow the crowd around us and we could potentially could get something good out of this. So let's go then to the race. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five lights in Mexico. They're out and we are racing. It's a good start by Leclerc. We've picked up a lot of wheel spin and now Lewis Hamilton. He's got his way through. Hamilton just about leads to Grand Prix. Head of Leclerc. We are in the slipstream. In the tyre tracks. Into town one. Don't knock up. Stuff like that. <laughs> that looks right in my eyes. Oh, shut up, Mark. This is not the time for you to tell me where Lance is. He goes to the outside, and then I have to force him, force him off break later. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to do it to me, but I did to you, didn't you? Don't work like that. Sorry. Sorry, Liz. Oh, no, he's going for a little bit. Going down the inside. A little bit. Gone one, he's on the outside. And I think my client's just gone up the inside of him. Has he? No, no, he hasn't. 
get a lake on one third of the living culture. I've got no IRS, but I'm into the world. So we got past Lewis Hamilton and now Charles Leclerc is trying to do the same thing. Round the outside he goes to the inside and just about gets ahead there and now he's in second place and hunting down us. I'm gonna get off and actually do anything. No! No, 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 Hunting us down, he's gonna go to the inside. Into time when we try and hold it around the outside, and we do. And now we're gonna chop him across. Here he comes McLaren, and he's right behind us. He's gonna go to the outside. Come on, come on, car, come on, car, come on, car. Go late. He's in the long way of the world, and then we get the job done and stay ahead. Yeah, beauty. He's got more shortly up for him. He's so quick in a straight line. So we are got a literal boat in a straight line and as I just said that Ferrari is very very quick. He's alongside us. Is he ahead? It looks like he might be. But we're gonna send him all the way round. The long way round. Carve him across again and stay in first place. Oh he's literally pushing me around the corner now. Comes Leclerc again on the outside. One. And the force is a long way around and he stays behind. Yeah. Oh, Perry's come out in traffic. Oh no, I keep himself concentrating down the inside for a second. Double DNF for a long time in a row. Again, that LP, that's why I left. Shocking reliability. In the box. So Charles Leclerc in the pits then. He's going to go into the hard tyres doing the same strategy as we were going to do. So now this is the big guns trying to find a way through. This is Hamilton and Perez going well to well. Perez looking for a good result at his home Grand Prix. And he gets the job done into turn one of Lewis Hamilton. He looks to be two stopping on the mediums. But the rain is coming. Yes, there is. Is that it? Was that? Was that rain? Is it here? Sure, just a raindrop. Yes, that's rain. Come on. Yes. Come on now. There's a new strategy available on the MFD. Yes, 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 yes. You wonderful thing. Come on, still got to do it then. So I'll sit there for three seconds. This could possibly be a one-two for us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please do the panel. It's not going to do the panel, is it? No, it's not.
but we're gonna come out back into the lead of the race. Up on the way. Now we just need to have some pace. We'll keep this car on the track and hope that they don't get through. So with bikes for the engine, you can see how wet it is now and so has everyone else and we have a, around a 15 second gap we have played the strategy to perfection here and with that corner cutting penalty we are sitting quite pretty but all we've got to do is keep the car on track we need Lance to keep the faster cars behind you can see him here but he's locked up into the first corner and Lando has gone to his inside now he's round the outside and so Lance a lot I know there's tension in the team but he could have helped for P3 in the race and he's still fighting Lando here around the outside goes Lando tries to force him the long way round Lando now though have the inside line can he get the exit it looks like he has got the exit and Lando Norris is through and up into P3 and it wouldn't be long before Charles Leclerc comes at the Aston Martin as well we've got bigger elbows than Lance Stroll appears to have and this is Pierre Gasly he was all on his own in this race in the second spin and he spun Pierre Gasly's lost it in what was a very very good P2 for him AlphaTauri not been there this season they got their first points last about in America as well Oh no, Lando. Lando. Charles are through. No, it's an alpha the next stop. Don't be a safety car. Don't be a safety car. Don't be a safety car. Okay, information on Schwartzman. Okay, it looks like the problem's a terminal. They're in the green. Come on, six laps to go in. As we come into this lane intersection for one final time. Okay. We get behind. Ten and a half seconds. We wrap the final corner. From second place, we've made every single lap. And we are going to pick up our first victory of Formula One. Come on. It's certainly been an incredible year for Formula One, and our drivers have pushed themselves this season. They the can only be one champion, however, and here they are now, our new Formula One World Drivers' Champion. Aston Martin deserved a win today, and they got it. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Very happy with today's performance and the final result. Another display of excellent driving and excellent teamwork. And a well-deserved first place finish. So what a race that is then, we pick up our first ever Formula 1 victory in what is a very very good Grand Prix, we played the strategy dry to wet, I hope you enjoyed the live commentary as well for that and I know we won that race in Brazil in season 1 but not technically, everyone retired from that race, this is the first wheel to wheel legitimate win we have and also Charles Leclerc, gotta give him a mention, world champion for the second time, we had a rough start to the season but he's come on strong and he's done 
really really well and is now double world champion we do it we've gone up in the drivers we've moved up in the constructors about well. open to p6 with only one round to go this season we go into brazil on a high for the final sprint and final round of the season before we decide and negotiate where we're going to be next season for season three but i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe hope you're enjoying the live commentary and come on we got our first win and i'll see you in brazil goodbye